the cigarettes in the car I think of the eye for what's left of me and I'm in the beginning Thank you so much. Syracuse, thank you so, so very, very much for joining us here this evening. It is such a pleasure genuinely to be in your uh, outrageously beautiful part of the world. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us here this evening. I want to offer, if I can, a personal thank you. And if I could hear an enormous round of applause for the incredible Alison Russell who opened up this show. It is such a joy and an honour and a great pleasure to be touring with an artist like Alison Russell and a, a dear friend and an incredible person like Alison Russell. She's, a, she's an absolute marvel. And uh, thank you for being such a wonderful uh, audience for Alison. And an incredible band. Syracuse. Uh, come here to me for one second. I'm just wondering if, if just before, as we're, as we're getting started, if you'd be up for doing a little warm-up with me. How are you just doing there, down there on the, on the lawn as well, too? How are you feeling? Oh, you look great. So this is going to be so easy. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw a few notes at you and you just post them right back. We have the fucking stamps are sorted and everything, all right?
This is a song called Francesca. To think I give up, but this made a shirt for love from me. But I was on the brink. How could you think? And it makes scarce the weaseling Now that it's done There's no one thing that I could change My life was a storm since I was born
Thank you very much. There's somebody holding a sign up here that says, just graduated. Is that true? Oh my God. The parting glass. Maybe later. Maybe later on. Oh. It's kind of a song for the end of a gig, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, let's do it later. Thank you. I suppose, I'd imagine there's a few people graduating recently. If you did, congratulations. That's awesome. I also graduated once. That's not true.
Vamos.
very much. Thank you, Syracuse. This is a, a song for my first record. If you know it, I'd absolutely love to hear you with me. In, in, in Ireland, County Wicklow, in the countryside. And, um, 
kind of around the time, if you can remember what, what it was like at the very beginning of, the, of, if we could try very hard to remember and then just totally forget what it was like at the very beginning of the pandemic. And uh, I just wrote this song trying to make sense of this newly arrived at distance between people and, and uh, that sense of powerlessness and that loss that was hanging in the air. Uh, but it was, it was a special song for me because um, it was the first of my music that I was joined by the incredible Alison Russell. There was a lovely, there was a lovely period of time. Alison very uh, wonderfully invited me, graciously invited me on to uh, to join her on her song uh, Requiem on her beautiful album The Returner. We got to do a little song as well. Yeah. This song is called Wildflower and Barley.
appreciate you. I also want to say a huge thank you. Anybody who was listening to that song or streaming it since it was released. Yeah. Sincerely, that's, that song uh, was my first number one ever. So thank you so, so much to anybody who was sharing that or streaming it out listening to it. That's all you. That is all you. Thank you so, so much.
far removed I get along without you Baby, well, some other than that Oh, the radio news will read a time Putting my sick love of mine She'll turn to me away She'll ask you everything I've introduced you to pretty much everybody up here on stage for two very wonderful people. Joining me from the Bahamas, via New York City, on synth and percussion and vocals. Please put your hands together for the incredible Camila. And joining me from New York City, also on synth and percussion and vocals. Please put your hands together for the incredible Melissa McMillan.
tell you how uh, I'm honored I feel, how blessed I feel to be able to, to be this night after night and to, to play in front of audiences and be welcomed by audiences like you uh, every evening. Thank you so much.
you so much. Please, if you could, welcome to the stage one more time, this incredible band. civil rights movement here in the 1960s. And why that it was of some particular interest to me as an Irish man, I come from Ireland, um, is that that civil rights movement that took place here in the 1960s directly inspired and directly impacted the civil rights movement that happened very shortly afterwards in Northern Ireland. At a time and place where not every single citizen had the right to vote. Simple as that. And, you know, I think when I talk about those kind of very, very small little acts of love and solidarity that we show up with every single day to the people that we know and the people that we love, I think in, in, no, in no sort of lofty way and in no sort of complicated way, I, I genuinely think those little acts of love and solidarity hold the world together. And, um, and I just think, and I think that when everybody switches on and does that in the same direction, the world has changed forever. You know, and, and so much that we take for granted today in our everyday life was once a society all switching on at the same time towards one direction. And uh, history has changed forever, you know. In the same way that once upon a time everybody decided that everybody, every single citizen should have the right to vote. But it's unalienable. Or that every, that women should have the right to vote. That's something that... That had to be organized for, pushed for, it took years. Or that women should, uh, you know, have control over their reproductive systems, you know? They should have full reproductive rights. And we take it for granted, but it's within living memory that women weren't able to, in our respective democracies, weren't able to open a fucking bank account without a guardian, a male guardian present. That's within living memory. And, um, you know, or that you know, people together can, can recognize the experience of their loved ones, of their friends and family. Maybe they decide, just as we have done in our respective democracies, that we want our LGBTQ plus siblings to have the same rights as us. And everybody switches on and the world just kind of changed, you know? Um, or like in the 1980s, there was, a, there was a lot of student protests and divestment protests around apartheid South Africa. And enough people 
saw what was happening in apartheid South Africa and they thought, you know what, that's not, that's not right. I'm not going to buy products from apartheid South Africa. I'm going to divest from apartheid South Africa. An investment grew out of that society and very, very quickly, apartheid South Africa was no longer an apartheid state. You know? Or just like at the moment, we can contact that same democratic representation and say, you know, we want to be represented in that same compassion in that same humanity, in that same love, and in that same honest witness that we would, and that we would want for anybody to live in, in safety and security. We would want everybody on the planet to live in safety and security. And we wouldn't want to enable violence. And we wouldn't want, we cannot stomach the kind of violence that we're seeing on our TV screens, the Palestinians are, are currently suffering. To. That we would want to see safety and security for everybody in the region, and that includes a Palestine free from occupation, free from violence, and free for self-determination. And it's, and I believe honestly, it's, it's it's the same compassion, it's that same honest witness, you know. And um, there's an Irish revolutionary by the name of James Connolly, and as you know, Ireland has its own history with occupation, centuries long and colonial violence. And the peace was very, very hard fought. And it, and it took communities getting together and saying, no, peace is better, and working towards a peaceful political solution. But there was an Irish revolutionary by the name of James Connolly, and he once wrote that there's no revolution complete without its poetical expression. It's poetical expression. And to me, Mavis Staples has always embodied the poetical expression. And I'm blessed to be touring with Alison Russell, who I believe has always embodied the poetical expression of just a revolution of honest witness and a revolution of love and a revolution of kindness and that's revolution of just standing up for your neighbour and saying, hey, I'm here, I love you. And that's that's a revolution of a radical inclusion as well too. And uh, I think these things are powerful, sincerely. It's not the way you get it it is the ground and all the food I'm compromising It's not for going of a light It's not the opening of a light It's not the waking, it's the rising It's not the shade which is the best It's the light and it's the obstacle of this It's the heat that drives the light It's the fire that ignites It's not the waking it's not the song, it is the same It's the heaven of the human spirit raining It is the bringing of the light It's the bearing of a rhyme It's not the waking, it's the rising I could
very, very much. We promised that we would do a party class for anybody graduating. These folks up here just graduated. And it's been a while since I signed this, so I might, I might forget it. I won't forget it. This is an old uh, folk song, anyone not familiar with it? It, it, it originates actually in Scotland. I think it was written by Robert Burns. And, uh, but it's a favourite back home. some noise for the incredible Mr. Ryan Connors. I'm joined also from Nashville, Tennessee on violin and guitar and vocals by the incredible Mr. Kellen Wenrick. Joining me from New York City on keys and percussion and synth and vocals. Please put your hands together for the incredible Joy Morales. <laughs> Joining me from the Bahamas via New York City. On synth and percussion 
and vocals. Please make some noise for the incredible Camila. And joining me from New York on synth and percussion and vocals. Please make some noise one more time for the incredible Melissa McMillan. I am joined from County Kerry in Ireland. Here on synth and bass and vocals and also joining me on piano. Give it up for the MD of this band, the incredible Mr. Alex Ryan. And joining me from Dublin, Ireland. On drums and percussion and vocals, please give it up for the indelible, incredible Mr. Rory Doyle. And last but certainly not least, um, I have a, a kind of a, a, a special one in that. Joining me from Ithaca, New York. And I have some, some family joining. It was wonderful to see them again. But joining me from Ithaca, New York, on cello, Amanda Cello, guitar, and vocals, and birds song. Give it up for Larissa Maestro. It's so nice up here, guys. It's such a pretty part of the world, you know. It's crazy. And I, I consider Ireland a rather nice part of the world. It's, it's kind of stupidly nice here, you know. Um, kudos, hats off. You know? It's beautiful. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to all of our incredible crew. Mr. Stephen Patterson for mixing this show. Thank you so much our for the house engineer. Thank you so much to... Uh, our lighting designer, Mr. Stephen Douglas. Thank you, Stephen Douglas. <laughs> Joseph Morris, thank you so much on lights. Joseph Morris, also known as Bambi, thank you so much. Thank you to our wonderful guitar technician, Mr. Mert Murphy. Thank you, Mert. Our wonderful bass and drum technician, Mr. Fred Burke. Thank you, Fred. Our wonderful guitar, keys, string, backline tech, Mr. Mark Ryan. Thank you, Mark. Our wonderful monitor engineer, Mr. Hunter Scoggins. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you to Nick Sage on audio. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much to Shane on audio. Thank you, Shane. And Carson on audio. Thank you, Carson. Our wonderful tour manager, Duchess Iredale. Thank you, Duchess. Our band manager, Shelby Kirshner. Thank you, Shelby. Our production manager, Nick Laurie. Thank you, Nick. Our production assistant, Sinead Madden. Thank you, Sinead. Our stage manager, Ray Waselek. Thank you, Ray. Thank you to Caroline Henry Joyner for management. Thank you. Thank you to Ruth Mejber, our incredible photographer, Ruth Mejber. Thank you to Paul and Freddie, our camera team, thank you very, very much. Thank you to Colleen Wittenberg, who is directing screens here in the side of us. Thank you, Colleen Wittenberg. Ben Trigger in the screens. Thank you to Kitty Hoffman on lights and uh, Kevin Byatt also. And our two carpenters, Michael and Shivers, thank you both very, very much. Thank you to Robin Security, keeping everybody safe also. Thank you. If I could, could I hear one more incredible thunderous, terrifying round of applause for the remarkable Alison Russell. And please, welcome to the stage, Alison Russell, in this last song.
Sitting in a room with an empty crib I was burning up a fever I didn't care much how long I lived But I swear I thought I dreamed her She never asked me once about the wrong I did Thank you.